got Greg from DG Amusements. DG Amusements. Thanks for joining us, Greg. Yeah, no worries, mate. Yeah. Uh, what, did, what does DG Amusements do? Um, well, DG Amusements uh, came actually started a couple of years ago. Um, yep. What we actually do, we've got a couple of facets. Do number one is we build brand new arcade machines. Cool. And it really came from a passion of loving them, like yeah. the old retro, you know, Pac-Man, Street Fighter, uh, stuff like that. Um, that's one side. So um, basically, I was building one for myself at home and yep. um, got 29,000 games. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> um, and then a mate came along and said, so could you build me one? So we sort of started building them and just refurbing machines and, and, and selling them. And um, we really sort of got to a point where we were like, okay, these, these are actually an entity that we can make not so much money, but get more of them out there and, yep. and really help other people enjoy them. Um, yeah, so cool. we started building brand new ones and we've gone to a really high quality type of machine. So that's yep. one side of our business we built. The other thing is that we take old poking machines. Yep. And um, yeah, DG sort of stands for a couple of things, Darren and Greg. Um, that's okay. two people. And then there's also, we say it's damn good because what we're actually out to achieve is to take a negative and turn it into a positive. Yep. So, you know, like um, we, we refurbish old poker machines, rip out all the, all the gambling stuff out of it, cool. and then retrofit them with a 1501 game board in it. And so you've got all your classics, yeah, and then cool. we put them out outside in pubs and clubs and stuff like that. So um, with little advertising screens up the top, so you can promote different things at the same time. So oh, nice. we have a couple that um, advertise, if you've got gambling problems, and it sits in front of the pokey room, so, <laughs> you know, it essentially gives another way to go, oh, I've got that dollar here, I'll put it in there instead of putting it in there. And, you know, yeah. helps promote, um, you know, healthy entertainment from yeah. gambling. So that's our big, big part of our business. So I really like that. It's really cool. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Retro gaming is a lot of fun. And it's just oh, yeah. so the nostalgia of it from our childhood. Yeah. You don't know what nostalgia is yet. No, I really don't. <laughs> um, yeah, I think like, it, I found, you know, like, it, the funniest thing I find in doing this job is you'll get a, a guy that's 35 plus to come in, have a look at the machine and go, oh, I've got to go ask my wife. <laughs> and you never see them again. Um, you know, they'll, 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 they'll oh, I really want one, I'll, I'll, I want it, I want to buy it, but I've got to cheat with the wife. And it's, yeah, yeah. Because that's the type of people, like, we were talking about when we are in the 1980s, early 90s, yes. when, you know, you'd, you'd take chip shop. five bucks or even the fish and chip shop yeah. and get in and you'd be there for hours playing. Yeah, yeah. Know, um, yeah, you've got some really favourite games behind that as well. And so, well, what would be your favourite game? Um, right? Outrunners is one. Outrunners, okay. Yeah, pole position, the old 1984 pole position. Okay, that's Heroes Born. Yeah, so. yeah Pac Man. Um, yeah, Pac Man's a classic. I'm not a big, I'm not really good at Street Fighter, but I still love playing it. Yep. Um, yeah. And my favourite is probably Gallagher. Okay. Gallagher, yeah. you know, you've got almost a that a couple of times and then. Nice. Yeah, you'd be there for hours playing it. So. Cool. So, yeah. And um, what have you brought along today? Like, what have you got um, here? We've brought a few, uh, three different models of the machines we built, and we're actually today running a competition. Um, so you play our game, run yep. any game, it's got 1500 on there, so you sleep the game, you get your high school off it, you put it on a sheet, and you can win a um, i7 gaming machine. That's awesome. Cool. We, got, well, we, we do a Pac Man, um, we do a Street Fighter edition, we do a Marvel edition, and we do um, Space Invaders edition. With oh, yeah, the nice. artwork and stuff like that. So. Cool. So, yeah. And you build all the hardware yourself, like build um, the, the, we, the box? We, we actually um, bought the, the actual PCB boards that have the games and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. um, we select all the different games we want on it, yep. and, and then they put it all together for us and check them out. Yep. Um, and then we, we, and there's a point of difference, I've seen um, machines out there that aren't really high quality, so I always say if you see a flat pack type cabinet, you know, that you get from the warehouse, it's yep. able to produce out there that and mass producing these things and like it's like yeah, what you get from the warehouse or something like that you will put itself together it breaks in a couple of years so yeah. for us at dg we want good damn good machines yeah and at last you know so we get them professionally built like proper joinery built cabinets cool and then, and then we fit them out and use top quality artwork on the side um you know like 10 year um, vinyl that's laminated so yep. you know if you get a mark on it you can wipe it off without yep. writing really <laughs> artwork and just, yeah, for us, it's not about um, quantity. It's more about quality and building quality good machines. That's good. Well, you don't want to sit on the landfill within yeah. a couple of weeks or... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. That's really good. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, yeah, it's, if you, to, to have a machine that you want to put in a shop or even, you know, at home in your bar or man cave or, you yep. know, in the lounge, like, you, it's, they're, they're not cheap. So you get, you don't want to get something that you're going to pay $1,400 or $1,600 for and find in two years' time you've lost your, your investment. You want to be yeah, your last. Years and, yeah. You know, it's got to last. That's what we really go out to do. So. That's really cool. Um, Thanks for joining us today. Um, it's been really nice learning about what you do. Um, can you tell the folks at home where they can find you online and what's your um, presence? We or? don't have an online presence. Uh, at the moment, we just uh, do a bit of marketing through Facebook and, and okay. lots of that. But 
um, we have another business um, in Wellington called eWay Services, um, yep. based out of Wainui. So we find that people can quite often get find us through there. Cool. Um, we're just building up our online presence at the moment. So nice. Um, it's, it's like when you do a hundred thousand things all at once, you, you've got to <laughs> pick a job off, and I'm going to get to that yep. one, do this one, and, yep. and so on. So um, yeah, just really passionate about it, and that's why it's a sideline. Like I, I love these things. So yeah, it's very cool. You know, 